My life, like many of yours, is filled with lots of wonderful things to include working, writing, creating, gardening, exercising, and cooking. Yes, cooking. I'm on a mission to change the way we see, experience, and relate to food. The concept of Sankofa reminds us to go back and fetch what was essential for maintaining a quality and wholesome lifestyle and apply it to modern day practices. So, would you like to join me at the table? Hey family, yes, I am back on the road again, this time from Charlotte, North Carolina, all the way down to St. Augustine Beach, Florida. Usually when I'm traveling by car uh, to that area, I'm always sure to go through the Brunswick, Georgia area, where I stop through the Satilla Shores neighborhood to pay homage to our dear brother, uh, Ahmad Aubrey, may he forever rest in power and peace. So as you can see, it's raining cats and dogs, but I still like to just ride through there, pay some respects to where it all happened, where he was gunned down by the, the father and son and the neighbor. Now that it's clearing up a little, I'm headed back on the road, about to cross that Florida or welcome to Florida state line as I continue heading to St. Augustine. Now stopping at the Florida Welcome Center, take a few pictures, and yep, back on the road. Last stop, St. Augustine Beach, Florida. Uh, time to head to the hotel, get checked in, get settled in, because it's the day before my birthday. So if I can uh, do this really quick, I can probably catch the sunset today. And I'm so glad that the rain stopped and it seems pretty clear here uh, so far. It looks like people are out and about, walking around, going to restaurants, you know, taking a walk. Uh, I'm sure there are people probably out on the beach as well. When I visit uh, St. Augustine, I like staying at the uh, Castillo del Rio uh, Hotel. It's really nice. It's just a short like 200 <laughs> steps to the beach and it's a really nice small hotel and uh, has everything you need it has a fitness center has a pool uh, has you know decent rooms so I really like staying there because it's very convenient to everything all right all unloaded and time to sanitize everything just like last year there's a bathroom nothing special shower toilet and back here on the counter is where my makeshift kitchen will be. Still part of the bathroom. And you have a sink here next to me. Okay. Uh, yeah, so nothing special back here. All the luggage just gotta get unpacked when everything is sanitized. Um, and have a nice uh, relaxing tub here. Um, little desk area, TV, bed, yeah. Same thing, a little closet area, and a balcony. Now, it's a little overcast today, but uh, I don't know to back at it. So, it actually was not locked. Just a simple open the door. Oh, and this time the pool is on the other end. So, and I'm on a higher floor this year, so hopefully I have a better view. Right back there. So, just a little walk out of the hotel, walk through a little uh, side street, and voila, at the beach. So, yeah. I'm just going to my birthday again. So nice. I wanted to do it twice. Plus, I had to come through and pick up my birthday cake. So, why not stay a night or two and enjoy the beautiful St. Augustine, Florida? Okay, family, so I have unpacked the groceries. So, as we know, I had all my uh, wet stuff, or not wet stuff, I had all my perishable stuff in the cooler. And I had a separate, another cooler too, just to kind of separate everything I'm going to warm up and eat tonight. It's already cooked. I froze it, and this way um, I don't have to cook. I can just warm it up 
with my uh, hot plate and skillet. So I have in the refrigerator starting at the top, I got some cute ginger ale because you never know if you might get a tummy ache or something while traveling. I have some strawberry and uh, blueberries for my cereal in the morning. I have some cherry tomatoes here from the garden. I didn't want to leave them. Have down here some water with some, I think I have cloves in there. I have my coconut milk in here for the uh, cereal. I have more coconut milk in here. And I have some mustard. Now here's the good stuff. All right, so sorry for the shaky camera but I have some mushrooms here that I'm gonna grill tomorrow I have some chickpea uh, crab cakes that I've already cooked here um, and I froze uh, some uh, where is it there it is okay and I froze some watermelon mint juice so it served as um, also an ice pack for the cooler so that was a good tip to freeze some bottled water and freeze some juice if you have some. So I put it in these little um, packs here, kind of drink while I'm hanging out. So I have a whole tray of them here, watermelon juice and a little bit of leftover. I think I had that mango limonade <laughs> uh, that I made last week. So, so also I pre-cooked my quinoa, pre-cooked some collard greens, pre-cooked some black eyed peas, made me some barbecue sauce here for my kebabs tomorrow and I also have some squash and zucchini that I'm going to put on the kebabs. I have some uh, okra. Uh, I didn't get a chance to cook it before I left home so I may cook it, may not cook it. I don't know but I didn't want it to go bad in the refrigerator at home and I have some tomatoes here I may slice tonight. I have some leftover apple cinnamon oatmeal that I had yesterday. I just put it in there. I can have an option to eat that in the morning or I can eat it um, the next morning and all the way in the back I got some barbecue baked uh, beans some black baked uh, barbecue baked beans that is and I have some bottled water that was frozen in the cooler so yeah so I, my refrigerator is fully stocked I'm all set for the next couple of days with my grub and yeah so I'll be showing you guys what I'll be hooking up while in this room uh, so stay tuned all right, family, so I'm back in the little, I guess, bathroom area. So here I have my <laughs> collapsible dish pan so I don't have to mess up the sink, right? Clog up the sink with food and stuff. I can wash my dishes in here. have my bag of fruit, kiwi, banana, apples, I think a lemon, lime or something. I got my plantain chips here. got my cereal, walnuts for my cereal. got some uh, lemon pepper seasoning in case I need it. Some raisins and... Um, I think I got some coconut for my cereal. And I got the grapeseed oil, agave. Yeah, and I got my little makeshift kitchen all set up here. I got my uh, double burner hot plate, skillet, and a pot um, because mostly everything's cooked uh, with the exception of my grilled um, mushrooms and kebabs and stuff. So I'll grill that um, probably tomorrow, uh, but our, my sides are already done. So I got some just some basic utensils. I have some more packed up. Um, yeah, I got a spoon rest, a couple of spoons here, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm all set up, I'm all ready to go, so if y'all don't mind, I'm going to run over to the beach and try to catch the sunset. So. And as I've said earlier, that the beach is literally about 200 steps away from the hotel or uh, parking lot over to the sand. You go first. Yeah, sometimes I'm a little apprehensive about walking through the cut to get over to the beach because you have to walk through sand dunes. And as we know, there are little creatures that live in the sand dunes like sand snakes and crabs and, you know, some other things, maybe lizards and stuff. And I don't like any of those things, so... And just as I thought, there are many people still out at the beach. Um, I guess the rain didn't run, run anybody away. So I am so happy that I was able to uh, get over to the beach before the sunset.
and I swear there's just something about that initial contact with the nice warm water that just almost takes your breath away and I love collecting seashells along the way and luckily at this beach there are plenty out here some beaches not so much but this beach I usually can find some nice shells that aren't all broken up out here at this beach And because this is Florida, yes, you have to be mindful of the sharks. And although there's no rain, there is plenty of wind, so gotta hang on to your belongings. <laughs> healing begins so therapeutic that water is just <laughs> unbelievable Luckily, I had to come all the way here to St. Augustine to pick up my birthday cake from D&P Cupcakery. And I'm telling you, family, I am just so thankful I was able to get away for like just two days just to celebrate my birthday and just kind of take it down. Uh, thus far this year, it's been pretty rough for me um, dealing with some health challenges with my mom. So it's not been easy, but um, it's been necessary. So just so thankful that I'm, I was able to get away. Because this trip was planned kind of at the last minute, I don't really have many things uh, on the agenda to do other than just relax and, you know, breathe. I do plan on visiting the uh, Fort Mose Museum again, and I will uh, more than likely stop by American Beach on the way home. Beautiful, beautiful St. Augustine, Florida, here celebrating my birthday this weekend. And behind me was the sunset. I did manage to catch a little bit of it. Um, today's weather was kind of rainy off and on, so it was a little overcast. But in front of me is the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. So if this is something you're interested in, me celebrating my birthday here in St. Augustine, then stay tuned, stick around, and when I come back, I will be sharing more of St. Augustine, Florida with you. Stay tuned. Alright family, so I have just warmed up my black eyed peas that I had already cooked from the house. I've warmed up my chickpea crab cakes. I got them in some oil just to kind of stay hot because I'm only working with two burners. And I got my collard greens heating up so I'm about to plate my food and have dinner. So, see you shortly. And dinner is served. And family, it is day two in the beautiful St. Augustine Beach, Florida, and yes, I am running over here to catch that sunrise. By the looks of it, I have four more minutes until showtime. Oh, and by the way, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me. <laughs> Now it's just a matter of time of finding that perfect spot to stand still and watch and wait. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm not alone. There are plenty of people and their dogs out waiting for probably the same thing to catch that sunrise. So I find the perfect spot where I can stop and not have my view blocked and time to wait.
day, another year, another sunrise, almost. And another couple minutes before that sun comes out. <laughs> Uh, typically, I'm not an early morning person, but when I'm at the beach, honey, I get up for that sunrise. I try to catch it every day that I'm at the beach, and I try to run back over to catch the sunset. It's just something about it coming and happening at the beach that just makes me feel really good. Thankfully, the weather app on these cell phones that we have, or these smartphones, that is, um, typically will let us know about the time that the sun is going to rise and that the sun is going to set and as you can see it's peeking through the clouds and all of a sudden let there be light yes the sun has come out from behind the clouds and it's just as beautiful as i had imagined Now back over to the hotel because it is breakfast time and it's also almost time to go pick up my birthday cake. Not <sighs> no, but it's melted. I it's melting. Care. We gonna eat this cake, honey. I, Every ounce of it. <laughs> Thank you. I was scraping the crumbs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're more than welcome. It is blessing. hot. Okay. I pray all is well. We know you at an event. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anytime. Okay. And like I say, I'll be there. Anytime okay. I come, because I come pretty often. Okay. Okay. I'll just bring you. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Y'all have a best one. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Happy birthday to me. I mean, every ounce, every crackling crumb of this cake. Look at it. Look at it. Yes, the humidity got it, but that's okay. That's okay. Wow. When you don't have all that crap in it, then it's just a natural thing here. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I'm about to eat one of these cupcakes now, honey. And family, this is the part where I really wish I were alone in the car because then I wouldn't have to share. <laughs> I know it sounds selfish, but let me tell you, when you get a cake from DMP Cupcakery, you want it all to yourself. I'm sorry. But because I'm a caring Cancerian, of course I'm going to share. That's what we do. <laughs> we, uh, we share, we care, we, we do all the things. And shout out to DMP Cupcakery because they always come through. She felt really bad that the cake, the icing had melted, but I didn't care. The cake tasted good all the same. Um, you know, it, she, she, and to be quite honest, she didn't even charge me for the cake. Um, and she even promised to bring an, another one to me when she comes back to the Charlotte area. Been waiting all year for this. A whole year for this. How many miles we travel? I don't know, six hours. Happy birthday to you. Mm. Happy birthday to you. All right, we better move. Let me turn this up. Any final words for what? Another. They're trying to get the, the past. Another birthday, another year, another fabulous cake. From DMP Cupcakery. No bull crap in the cake. It, the icing melted a little bit, but that's okay. We don't care. It did not mess up the integrity of the ingredients. And I'm going to eat every crumb as usual. Hmm. Hey family, this is Tia. I'm still celebrating my birthday here in St. Augustine, Florida. And today in my bag, as usual, is something to drink. So I have some mango limeade here that I froze so it's nice and cold. And I got my plantain chips, of course, and an apple and some 
water. So that's all I have today. I'm, I'm traveling light today because when I get back to the room, I'm gonna uh, hook up some dinner. So that's what I'm doing. Stay tuned. How old are you? Okay. Oh, 52? Yeah. Oh man, well, I wish I could go back about 10. <laughs> Cause I turn 62 next week. All right. The week after next, okay. August 2nd. Yeah. So cancer too, huh? Is that still cancer? No. Uh, no, that's I'm a Leo. 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 Leo the lion. All right. You ready for us to sing your birthday song? Uh huh. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Hallelujah. All right, because we got company. I won't blow. I'll just, no, I'll just fan them out. Fan them out. Okay. And cut the cake, anime. Cut the cake. Oh, wow. That's a real cake. cake. Yes. Yeah, he wants a smaller piece. Yeah, just a small piece, but I do want some. <laughs> oh man, oh that that looks oh my god. Yeah, we don't have cake. You say who made the cake? DMP Cupcakery. I went over there. You did? You did? I know what it said. Okay. Did you yeah. tell who sent you? No, I actually went over there and it was closed. Oh. Ah. But I know what it said. I know what's that. Needless to say, the cake got eaten and it was a great day. Entering the Museum of Fort Mose here in St. Augustine, Florida. So there's different exhibits, a lot to read, a lot to learn, <laughs> different sights and sounds of what used to be. Uh, there's a guide, there's also a video that can be watched. Um, as you come in this building to learn more about the history of Fort Mose to kind of give you an idea of what it was and put everything into context and here are some artifacts of what has been found here at Fort Mose. Um, they're still discovering things and anticipating growing the museum over the time, over the next few years. So, if you're ever in this area, be sure to come through, check it out, learn more about history. So here, we have so many things you can read about the notable people that lived and began um, at the fort, and how it ties into the other fort. So, this is just a tour of the museum. And out back, I believe they're going to create some more historical artifacts and things we can check out in the future. So yeah, this is a, a timeline here, all the way from 1492 up until, let's see how far it goes, up to 1812. And here's the Castillo de San Marco, Huntoon Island. Pajer Noster, we have seen changes. Yes. And family, um, as you may know or may not know, Fort Mose became the first legally sanctioned free black town in the present day United States. And it's a very important site for black American history. So if you ever are in the St. Augustine area, please come by, check it out, meet uh, Mr. McNaught. He would probably be here and probably can tell you so much about this um, museum. While Fort Mose is mainly underwater uh, right now, they do plan to build another one right out back. So uh, that's going to be pretty interesting. And I do plan to come back maybe next year to check it out. And back on the road, now headed to the historical American beach. Um, it's about maybe 
30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes north of Jacksonville. And Jacksonville is maybe 30, 40 minutes north of St. Augustine. So it's all pretty much in the same area. So this is my first time visiting American Beach. I've heard or learned so much about it. Um, and it's, you know, African American historical presence. It's located on Amelia Island in Florida, and it served as one of the uh, few and maybe the first Florida beaches open to African Americans during the segregation period. And while riding through this neighborhood, as you can see, the streets are torn up. And I was a little skeptical at first, wondering what was going on in this neighborhood. Um, but I found out from one of the residents here that the city is tearing up the at street the or has sign, torn up the streets to street. at sewage then the destination is on your right. um, throughout the, the entire area. So that's why. And I guess when they finish the work, they will repair the streets and put it back to how it needs to be. Arrived. And just like many other historically black communities across the country, gentrification exists here as well. There's still some of the original homes here at American Beach, as well as some new ones. Family, I must admit, I had the warmest feeling, uh, felt like home to be quite honest. Uh, when I arrived at this beach, it just, it was something about it, something so different than any other beach I had visited. Um, I don't know, maybe it's the ancestors, I don't know. But it was um, home to the beach lady, whose legal name was Mavani Elizabeth Oshun Vetch, and she was the great granddaughter of the founder of the beach, Abraham Lincoln Lewis. After I left the beach, I made sure to tour the American Beach community. Um, a lot of historical markers throughout the neighborhood, giving a lot of the history of the beach. There's also a museum named after A.L. Lewis in the neighborhood. I did not get a chance to go to it because it was closed, but when I visit next year, I will be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching and for hanging out with me during my birthday weekend.